and I, I guess I had that I didn't want to give up. Um, so, yeah, there was this battle going on. When he was 16, Justin went to a doctor for an insurance physical. And the doctor looked at me, and he was stunned. He looked me over, he checked me over, and he was really anxious. He was really unsure if I was healthy and if I was okay. He was sent by ambulance to a hospital in Pittsburgh for more testing. There, the seriousness of his morbid obesity became real. I remember my parents being at the foot of the bed, and uh, they looked at the, at the bed scale. My mom walks up to me, and she says, Honey, do you know how much you weigh? And I said, No, I don't. And she goes, You weigh 799 pounds. And I was, I was blown away and numb at the same time. I thought things like, who could love me? I'm so large, who can, who would love me? I, I don't offer much, I just sit here and I eat. And those are real thoughts that entered my mind, for sure. And those thoughts plagued me. I just, I guess I felt, I felt like I was in a prison at that moment, just not knowing where to turn next. Lying in his bed, Justin remembered what his mom's friend Marge told him about Jesus' love and he cried out to God for help. When I gave my heart to Jesus and surrendered over, there was a peace. I felt loved and I felt valuable. I felt like even if I was that much weight and wasn't confident and happy about myself, I felt like the Lord saw something different. Like he saw my identity as his child and I allowed God to take a messed up broken person that I was. I allowed him to change me from the inside out. I gave my heart to Jesus in August 2003. And I realized that I was loved by him, and that he cared about me, and I had value and identity. With a new identity, Justin started functioning differently. He was motivated to eat better and started moving. I would have to start walking a little bit. So I remember taking a couple steps, maybe three, four, five steps and then I would have to go back to the bed and sit down. But that was a milestone for me because I was able to actually move. I was able to actually function. He was discharged after six days. Once at home, Justin started working with a therapist and a nurse to continue building his strength. It took him 33 days to walk a total of one mile. And then I started walking a little bit easier. It took me less days, 20 some days a second time. I did another mile and then less time to do my next mile. And eventually I started walking around stores and going out and, and actually becoming part of society again. The first year, Justin dropped 200 pounds through dietary changes and exercise. 